Let's build a spanking bench. Oh, uh, spanking bench 2.0, I might add. So. Last year I made a spanking bench that looks like this, which is more of like a solid kind of dungeon furniture setup, but we wanted to make something that was a little bit more collapsible for the people that like to play at home and they can kind of shove this into a closet or possibly under the bed if it's high enough. So we came up with this. I got inspiration for our design from a company called Fetish Furniture and I'll have their Letsy, their, Letsy, their Etsy link, link in the description. They gave me permission to go ahead and uh, use their design and I'm very gracious for them doing that. And they also uh, let me know that the show How to Build a Sex Room on Netflix, their bench is actually going to be in this next season. Keep an eye out on that. Oh yeah. We gotta go, go ahead and start with uh, making the legs. And uh, this is how that goes. <laughs> I go ahead and clamp the two pieces of wood together. That way when I'm doing all my measuring and cutting, I can actually uh, make them twins at the same time instead of doing one at a time. So this also shortens the workload and the time on the workload and makes life a little bit easier. Once I have them cut out and ready, I go ahead and make the feet of the bench. And I just use a jigsaw, but the problem is it creates a lot of dust. So I found if I just sit there with my air compressor blowing the airway as I'm constantly cutting through, I can keep sight of my cut lines, which is kind of important. Then I'll go ahead and take some rasps and files and kind of clean up what needs to be cleaned up on the edges. And then go ahead and start making the the handles so you can actually like pick this thing up. And they also double as an extra kind of tie off point to where you could actually strap someone's whole body down, which is uh, pretty cool if I do say so myself. And then uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, set this to the side so we can get on to the next part. Yeah. It takes, it takes two, two to, lie, to lie, one to one lie, lie, and one, one to listen. Ping. I, I, for one, one welcome our new insect overlords. After. My cat's My breath, breath smells, smells like cat food. Everything is coming up in the house. Penguin after dark. Buy our shit. The bench that Fetish Furniture makes actually has four shelves, two for the arms and two for the legs. So when I designed ours, I have one shelf on each side. That way everything can be moved a little bit quicker. Just doing the same things last time where I take two pieces of, the, of wood, clamp them together. That way I can actually mirror them as I make them. Once I've made those holes in that part of the shelf, I can actually take it and use it as a template on the legs for all the adjustment holes that the shelves will actually bolt into and can change the position from low to high depending on the height of the bottom that will be on the bench. And then I take these two sacrificial carriage bolts and I use them to punch 
squares into the holes. That way I can kind of chisel them out punch, and go ahead punch, and uh, punch, 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 punch. I can kind of chisel them out and go ahead and uh, when you have the carriage bolt in, it actually sits flush. As I was measuring out the uh, platform part of the shelves, I had a visit from uh, Miss Penguin there, and I think she's actually doing the floggers that are glow in the dark with that pour, and uh, isn't she the cutest? And then it's back to drilling holes. That way you can have a multitude of tie-off points, so you can use rope, chain, whatever, to secure your bottom to the bench. Then I take one of the little round to it. So that way if someone asks you to do something, you can throw them one of these and say, hey, I'll, I'll get round to it. And I actually convert it into a sanding bit that I can put into my drill and help sand out all the holes. A good friend gave me the idea to do these. Thanks, Moon Moon. And then after that, we go ahead and route all the edges. And we'll go ahead and assemble the two parts of the shelves. And then I add these blocks in here to give a little bit more um, support and rigidity to help support the bottom. As they say in the industry, I don't know if they fucking say that or not, but I fucking said it. Duh! The next thing I had to do was go ahead and make the top that the legs actually connect into. Cut just a basic two by six into some angles and I use hinges. That way the legs can actually compress in and out. And what I did is made basically an angled box that the padding will sit on top of to help have it at an angle instead of just kind of be horizontal. Gives a little bit more angle for uh, the comfort of the bottom. So as I was recording that, someone had hit one of the transformers in our area and knocked out power to the entire neighborhood and uh, didn't get to finish narrating that day. And uh, so yeah, we're back at it. And, uh, different shirt and a different day to finish doing this shit. So, uh, back at it. Uh, hold on, let's see where we are on this thing. Uh, oh yeah, I'm just uh, assembling the, the legs to the top, what I call the slab. But yeah, we're back at it to finish up this, uh, this video. Yeah. Let's go ahead and enjoy this montage of uh, converting my shop into a paint booth. It's really more for Preventing overspray from covering all my shit in paint. I mean, it's bad enough this place is just like thick with sawdust that I, it's like an uphill battle trying to uh, take care of, but adding paint particles into everything just is unappealing to me. We decided to make this bench a pink and light purple coloring just to kind of show that you can do more with BDSM equipment and furniture than black or red. There's nothing wrong with those colors, but you know, there's no reason why you can't make things a little bit funner than just, than just the status quo. I mean, people order black and red, we will happily make it for them. But we chose these colors because we, we think they're fun and this is actually a spanking bench that we're going to keep and 
take to events to use as a demo, try to get pre-orders on. Hey to live a little, folks, and uh, have a little fun with life. Don't be so serious. Nah. Q. Heat the Ledger's Joker. And fucking. <laughs> I'm using a three inch upholstery padding to give a little bit extra kind of comfort and support. And then I finally got one of those little uh, kind of uh, extending knives that I didn't have last time I made one of the banking benches which made life a lot easier having it. I go ahead and use a backing board that's about a three quarters inch thick that way when I screw this to the shelf I have more meat to grab onto with the screws with, without having to worry about piercing the padding. In keeping with the theme of fun color combinations, we decided to use a uh, white vinyl to uh, kind of make it look a little bit more interesting. And then as you staple it down, I'm going to tell you, use a lot of staples to secure this stuff to the backer boards. And I know any uh, professional or hobbyist reupholsterers or upholsterers are probably going to look at how I'm doing this and just be in shock. But I don't know how the hell I figured out how to do this. I had to research the shit out of it, but it works. So there's that. Now we're on to final assembly. Attaching the upholstered padding to the slab and to the shelves and putting it all together to bring you Spanking Bench 2.0 or it's a collapsible spanking bench and uh, hey I, I appreciate the hell out of y'all uh, sticking through to the end I know it's been a while since we've done a video but uh, going to try to do them more often but we start getting busy with events and custom orders and it gets difficult to to edit all this and do all the things. So, thank you for uh, making it to the end. Be sure to do all the shit, YouTube things. And until next time, Let's try it again. <laughs> you gotta stop laughing. I'm trying to. <laughs> this is extremely hard for me. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, maybe not the whisperer, but let's try it like penguin. Like that. Okay. Right. Penguin. penguin. <laughs> Shit, sorry. <laughs> you fucked it up. <laughs> I'm on a lot of drugs. <laughs> Alright. This is the one. Our careers depend on this. Wait, are we whispering or not? No. Are yeah. we going to be like out of breath? Like No. Okay. Penguin, Penguin after, after dark. dark. Penguin, Penguin after, after dark. dark. <laughs> God damn it, I'm so sorry. Let, we'll do the uh, we'll <laughs> do the whisper. <laughs> <sighs> this is going to make great outtakes. <laughs> All right. We'll do the whisper. Okay. All right. Penguin after dark. Penguin after dark. All right.